It's an X-linked genetic disease. It essentially um, affects a, 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 a phospholipid, which is essential for normal mitochondrial structure and function, um, which happens to be the target for our drug. So in Barth syndrome, um, these patients only have five to 30% normal levels of this particular phospholipid. And with that, again, the disease is, is often fatal in childhood. Um, our company, again, this phospholipid can be damaged across the disease spectrum, but this disease is probably you know, a very close fit in terms of the mechanism of our drug. And we were actually approached by patient advocacy in 2014 and asked to consider development efforts in this disease. Uh, standard of care. So I think the biggest challenge is diagnosis. Um, this is a disease where children can be born you know, in heart failure. Uh, and unfortunately for these patients, what often happens in the patient community is a child in a family is lost to the disease and they get the diagnosis post-mortem, and then when the next child is born, they, they know to suspect it, um, because it's not on a newborn screening panel. Um, recently, we've gotten you know, uh, emergency access requests coming in um, for children who were born ill like this, and uh, participated in like a, a newborn screening program that was like on a, on a trial basis at the hospitals they were in. And in that way, it was picked up and diagnosed. There aren't any approved therapies for the drug. Ours was the first ever considered for it. Um, they do go on standard of care cardiac medications often, but you know those don't really impact the progressive cardiomyopathy to any great extent. Um, many of these children have received heart transplants, some of them multiple heart transplants. Thank you.